Look at this sunflower. It's a uh, five, what? Five, six, maybe? Look. I mean, it's ginormous. <laughs> I think I put six, six seeds down and I only got that one. This needs to come out. I get my pruners and that over there too. My nasturtiums are kind of suffering because I neglected them for a while, but they're still there. And I just need to get rid of those weeds there. Maybe mulch them a little bit. This was a terrible accident. <laughs> I run them over. Well, I didn't. I moved this log and kind of pushed it this way and some of my some of my sunflowers um this is what happened to them so i'm gonna try to stake them and see if it does anything if not then my bad these are some zinnias remember i thought they were weeds because of the shape of the seed the um, leaves i saw something similar over there well, there's Zinnias. There's another one. And those that look like weeds, they're all sunflowers. I don't know if there's going to be enough time for them to bloom, but I surely hope so. This is my flower garden that I started in terrible soil. And hopefully I'll build it up. But it's looking very green. So there are a million and one projects that need to happen before the girls have their babies. Like covering the bottom of the goat shed or barn because they can crawl underneath and I won't be able to get them out. A bunch of other things. I have to train them to the stand. I haven't done that yet and I think that's very important. So there's a lot that needs to happen in the next 10 to 15 days. Right now I am trying to enjoy seeing them pregnant. They're not miserable yet. Maybe they will be in the last 10 to 15 days. They're not miserable, they're happy, they're walking around, they're just, you know, they're not as active as they used to be because, you know, they're kind of heavy, so they lay around and, but they still have the time of their lives. So more exciting for me, the pregnancy process and what I see in them and how their babies are growing and, you know, feeling the babies. I love feeling the babies. I was here with my son, Michael, the other day and I was like, okay, you need to feel these babies because I need to know if it's as exciting for you as it is for me. And he loved it. Uh, it's such a wonderful experience you know, life in itself. And, uh, you know, I have no idea how many babies they're going to have. Mocha seems like she's going to have more babies than Annabelle because of the way that she carries her babies. But I don't think that's... I, I don't think that's a, an accurate way of saying that she'll probably have more or determine that she'll probably have more. But she is bigger uh, and when I try to feel for babies it is way easier to feel for babies on mocha um, and even when Annabelle she stays still you know and you're petting her or brushing her and she lets you feel those babies uh, it, it is still um, not as easy as it is for mocha mocha I barely just kind of push up her belly and they start kicking uh, although, you know, they're gonna have four hooves, so maybe, you know, it's a one baby kicking from different directions. That's a possibility. Uh, but if it was just one, it would be a humongous baby because she's pretty, pretty big. Anyways, um, Annabelle, yeah, I mean, I can't even try to guess at this point. Maybe later on I'll try to guess. But right now, I, I don't think... This is the first time I'm, you know, I'm gonna have a goat deliver. Hi, baby Clara. 
and Clara has been extra needy lately. I think she's feeling the love towards the ladies because they're pregnant and I don't know. I don't know. They're just so sweet. Um, I've heard that some goats will be skittish. Uh, they're not. At this point today, they're not. They're kind of the opposite. They're extra needy. They want to do more things with you. They want to hang around with you, especially with me. So it's it's definitely something that I am quite enjoying, to be honest. When I have to go out and work or do something, I kind of uh, I, I kind of miss being with them because they're just so stinking sweet. Um, my camera it's heavy. So I'm just switching from one arm to the next. Anyways, the ducks need to happen. I found this lady on Craigslist and she has uh, some beautiful ducks. And my girls need a drake because they're still trying to hatch those babies. My son is building a duck house and that will fit, you know, quite a few, not quite a few, but maybe, I don't know, six, seven birds. And I'm gonna remove all the eggs that they've been trying to hatch for weeks now. And hopefully they will have fertilized eggs that they can hatch. But at this point, nothing. And they're still spending all of their time taking care of those eggs that are not fertilized. So I felt terrible and I decided I'm gonna get those. Um... And the lady on Craigslist was just trying to make sure that they were gonna go to a pet's home. And that's what they will be for us, you know, they, they gave us eggs and everything, but they're, they're not, we're not going to eat those ducks. <laughs> um, so that's something that's going to happen. That pen is a mess. I have to weed it. I have to do a bunch of things to it, but I'll show you that in another video. But I wanted to give you kind of an update of how the girls are doing and how big they are and what I'm learning, you know, that some does are deep bodied and some other ones carry them on the side. And that's something that Arisha from Hanson Neverland Farms, who I got this goats from, uh, explained to me. And it kind of made sense when she said that, but at the same time, I didn't understand how it worked. So I looked it up. I started watching videos and reading a lot about it. I got a really good book from the library. I'll share it with you guys uh, once I finish it. But it's just awesome uh, to learn all these things. And um, I can't wait for babies, but I'm kind of milking this time, you know? The miracle of life and how you can feel the babies and how they're kind of, you know, they like Annabelle likes when I talk to her babies. I will, you know, be by her and I'll start talking very softly to her babies and I tell them, hi babies, and you know, and, and it's almost like she knows, you know? She knows that I'm talking to her babies and she loves how calming my voice is, so she stays and she puts her head against me, like, okay, keep going. <laughs> so it's it's been, such a sweet experience and it's been i don't know the last two weeks everything is going 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 and i i'm here for it uh that's all i'm gonna say i'm here for it i'm excited i think this is going to be you know one of the times that i'm gonna look back and kind of remember uh with these girls and I don't know I'm just also very nervous about them having babies and me being able to know exactly what to do and at one time because I've been looking up goat births that go wrong well goat birds in general and the ones that you can find on YouTube mostly are the ones that go wrong something goes wrong and most people that lose babies is because they didn't intervene in time. So I'm trying to keep my times in check. Like if they don't deliver the second baby by this time, then he's probably in a weird position. I am trying to um, learn this, this, there's this video, it's called Mr. Animal Farm and they say when to intervene or how to. And I think the lady over there is just so gentle and so awesome the way that she explained things. I'm gonna try to put her video on in my description box 
below because I just think that it was to me um, it gave me a different perspective now I'm crying my eyes out I've been having some kind of other allergy but that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to share with you guys today um, there's so much I want to share but not in this video <laughs> so thank you so much for keeping up with us as of today for me again we are about nine days away from 140 days when they could have their babies and I read quite a few people had their babies on day 142 Arisha on Hands That Never Done Farms um, she I think she told me that she, her girls would go on day 148 typically so we have a window and I'm not in a hurry to make things happen because I'm quite enjoying this. So let me keep going with my chores and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.